Cottage Grove, uh, when I came here, we were wrestling up on the mezzanine out behind the, uh, the stands in the basketball arena. It was a gymnastics arena, basically. I had to remove a lot of the, uh, the tie-downs and things and the pulleys that they use for gymnastics. They dropped gymnastics because it was such a high liability. And consequently, uh, I, I, we moved a, a universal gym that we had to the end. I, uh, I was able to buy a wrestling mat from my old coach, Ron Finley. Uh, we put the mat down, we were able to start wrestling and provide a safe atmosphere for these kids to wrestle. And since that time, our community now uh, has built a brand new school and they included this wonderful wrestling room that we have. Uh, I don't have to move mats up and down steps anymore. We at New Cottage Grove, uh, in the last 31 years, I purchased uh, eight full wrestling mats. And so our community, our school district has eight full mats. When we first started doing tournaments like this, I would spend uh, all day Friday and all day Sunday and Monday picking up mats and delivering mats to all of the turn uh, all of the schools around the, the county. Now I'm able to pull them out of a closet that we have. So I feel grateful for our community to support our kids with this wonderful school. Now I'm able to uh, recruit women out for our wrestling team. They're going to have a state tournament here for women this year. Uh, there was a young lady, Christina Stanley, that I coached and taught for uh, 10 years. And she graduated last year in, in 2008, or no, 2007. And uh, she placed third in district and was able to go to state. And at that point in time, it seemed like a thorn in Brad Garrett's side. Uh, he's our administrator that runs the OSAA portion of wrestling. And I kept saying to Brad, I said, hey, you know what? We wouldn't have to be going and getting a different scale to weigh these women in if, in fact, we had a women's tournament. We had just been over in Maui for a wrestling tournament, and all of their girls, they had close to 300 girls that were wrestling in the tournament that we were at, and they had a complete separate tournament for their women. Now, a quick, a quick fix for University of Oregon Wrestling is, you just invite girls to come into your wrestling room. You have a coach, you have a room, you have a program, why not start a women's wrestling program too? At Cottage Grove, we have eight girls now wrestling. I hope next year we can double that and get close to 20. Um, it's, not, it's not a sexist thing, but I will be one of the first to say, you bring girls, you're gonna get boys. There's a lot of people that have whined to me saying that their programs are falling off. Well, the answer is girls wrestling. And if they want to try to do something, go recruit some girls, and you're going to get more boys in your room, too. I mean, that this is high school. These kids, they have hormones, okay? And But then you got to have the girls wrestling the girls and the boys coaching the girls, okay? And that's the way it needs to be done. Christina, my little friend Christina Stanley, she fought for 12 years wrestling against those boys. And my goodness, physically, it cannot happen. She wrestled tough all the way up until about the uh, this eighth grade freshman year. And then physically, she just couldn't hold hand her own. And uh, so that's how we got girls out. And it's a great opportunity.